once we click edit is where we can get access to everything we need for attributes all right the fact is is that right now if we go in here to add attributes we can't because we haven't actually straightened out or set up any attributes okay excuse me another place to locate this is up through uh, store admin we can just come down here into uh, attributes So while uh, we wait a year for this page to load. <clears throat> all right, so I'm on the attributes page, and all we can do here is just click add attribute. All right, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. And the uh, you know the, the prime example of what we're going to use here is going to be something like. All right, it's going to be something like this here. Okay, we're basically going to set this up the same words, same everything. Okay, I'm just going to actually run through on how to uh, set this up. So uh, let's see. Let's title this one. Let's just call this one uh, "Source Files for um, You Know Video Training." All right, I'm just going to use the same exact sample as uh, the Master Flash site. All right, what this name is right here, this isn't necessarily something that the customers are going to be able to see. All right, this is how us as administrators can tell what the attribute's name is when we're applying it to a product. All right. One of the labels that a customer is going to see is this one right here. All right, obviously this is going to show up on the top. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, the field that we're getting ready to fill out is this field right here. Okay, so we can say something like you know tutorial includes video training source files and developer notes. All right, so the help text, if we did apply help text to this right here, that is going to show up, uh, I believe it's down underneath of this attribute here. All right, so that's where you can basically put notes. All right, so um, make this attribute required, forcing the customer to choose an option. Obviously, this is going to be up to you on your particular product. Okay, I'm just going to leave this blank, or I'm going to leave it unselected. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a radio button. All right which ultimately does force a user to sign it or, or click on it anyway, all right? You know, the point of using something like this is to, you know, force someone to select it. And of course, you know, what that generally entails, obviously the, the specific product, but if they click on it, you know, you can state somewhere that basically they're agreeing to the terms and conditions to the download, all right? Because most downloads are gonna have some sort of uh, <laughs> conditions behind it, right? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit here. All right, so now what we can do is we can go ahead and head into this options over here because we have to define what the options are. All right, the title of the tutorial and or, uh, I'm sorry, the title of the attribute and the title of um, you know what what or the other stuff that comes along with it. All right, so obviously once we click in options, it's telling us that we need to create options for source files for video training. All right, so if we hit add to option or add an option, all right, this is the name up here. Okay, obviously you can tell this is this name will appear to customers on product add to cart film, add to cart firms. All right, so what I'm going to put is just downloads available immediately, and then of course we can create a list position, but it's not really necessary. And here is where we can make adjustments to the cost. All right, but we're just going to leave this blank for now. And what this would be used for is if they you know do select this particular option, it's going to add five or ten or whatever price that we put on it that it needs to add. Uh, what I generally do is leave this blank and, and set this up later on when we're actually applying it to the product. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit. The reason for waiting later on is so you can actually, you know, apply specific adjustments for each individual product. All right, not all products are going to operate on it like this. So if you created one simple thing here that can control many products, well, you can control individual products later on when you apply it. All right, so you don't just you know make it forced here to where you end up creating 500 extra attributes.